Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have completed login part of inventory management system project. If you have not seen that video, just go to description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to work on home page. So let us start with that. So let me go to the home page.java and then we have to go to the design. And first we are going to increase the size of this one, 1366,768, press enter. Then let me decrease the size of this one also. Let me also close this one and let me put it in the center of uh, here. And here we have to place buttons. So I'm going to place the button and here the first button which will be for user. And uh, the next button will be for category. So category. And after that, uh, next button will be for product. Product and after that uh, the next button will be for customer and then we need next button that will be for order and after order the next button will be for view order order and after that the last button which will be for logout logout and then we have to select all these buttons and go to the properties of this one. And here we have to just change this to bold 14. Click on OK and just close this. After that, one by one, we just need to put the icon for this button. So just go to the user, user.png, this one. After that, close it. Then again, go to the properties and then we have to select the category.png. Close it. Then we need product. So in the same way we are going to select one by one product.png and customer so just please customer customer.png and then go to the order so just write here order dot png close it in the same way view order so view order dot png and at last we have logout so just click on logout log out okay so there will be something okay uh it should be i think exit exit yeah exit png sir okay just close this after that we are going to select again the buttons and we just want to change the colors to white or any color you want to select from here so just click on this one and i'm going to close it and just close this one and save this after that, again, we are going to check the form size. So 1366,768 is there. After that, we are going to change the layout. So set layout to absolute layout. And then I'm going to put a label over here. Go to the properties. And then we are going to select home page background.png image. And place perfectly on this form. Okay. And uh, double click on this one. You can see the label name is visible over here. So after that, you have to just press in the system or in your keyboard actually backspace and save this. After that, uh, we have to select all these buttons and put it in the center of this page, uh, not center, top of the center, top of page, top center. So just place it over here and save this. And uh, we also need to remove the min max close button. So just extend this one, go to the properties of JFrame. And from here, we have to just click on this option and close this. After that, we have to just save this one. And now here, as a uh, login as a super admin, then we need to show the user button. Else, we need to hide this button. So just change the variable of this one. So so btn and user uh, and press OK and save this. If I go to the source and here we need to write uh, just a few line of the code to just hide okay so here uh, let me remove this one as we have already know that uh, uh, we can we are getting the rules and first we are going to set that uh, so this form should be open in the center of the page and after that we have to just write a rule dot equals and it should be admin if rule is admin in that case we just need to hide the button right so btn uh, btn user dot set visible and here we have to just set false okay 
and after that we have to save this now we have to go to design and double click on this logout button to generate the event you can see event has been generated and here we have to just write the code to to uh, like form confirm uh, for confirmation that uh, are you sure you want to log out so j option pan dot show message uh sorry show confirmation message confirmation dialog and here first we need to pass the null and then here we have to write do you uh, want to log log out application and here we need to write select and then g option pan dot uh, yes or no option and put semicolon if a is equal equals to zero it means that it has been selected by yes in that case we have to just hide the home page so i'm going to write a set visible false and the new visual will be login page so login dot set visible and i'm going to set here true and save this now i'm going to start with the home page i'm directly going to run this time so going to run this one you can see all the buttons is visible here you can see the user is also there because rule was not passed yet so it's going to be null and it cannot equals to admin so that's why it's showing the user button and if i click on logout you can see we are getting message do you want to log out if i click on no it will nothing will be happen and if i click on yes it will route to the login page so it means that our home page is also working as expected so this is all related to home part i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel